a show of unity at a time of transition for the United Nations. The new Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, and the Swedish Foreign Minister, Margot Wallström, have vowed to renew the UN's relevance by focusing on one of its original missions, conflict prevention. In other words, stopping war before it starts. Too many prevention opportunities have been lost because member states mistrusted, mis, mistrusted each other's motives and because of concerns over national sovereignty. Prevention should never be used to serve other political goals. One of the steps Guterres is taking is requiring political affairs and peacekeeping staff, accused in the past of not working together, to share office space so they can identify and resolve potential conflicts before they happen. The Swedish foreign minister, who chaired Tuesday's session of the UN Security Council, told Al Jazeera some countries will resist Guterres's initiative. But Margot Wallström says she will work hard to change their minds. There is a price tag on, on letting it go too far or to, to, on, on violence and, uh, and war and conflict. Mm -hmm. And uh, that would be a much higher price tag uh, than if you try to, to do uh, prevention. Uh, so um, maybe that's the only argument that some will understand in, in certain countries. Analysts say Guterres's plans are ambitious but perhaps unattainable for another reason. Uh, we face a high risk of very serious killings in South Sudan. The Congo is in crisis. Syria is in crisis. Yemen is a major challenge. Guterres has to start acting on those situations in, in detail very, very early on. Secretary General Guterres says that the UN needs to get back to its core mission, which is enhancing peace and not just trying to simply end wars. But right away, he has to deal with Syria, ISIL, Gambia, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Between those crises and the skepticism of leaders, such as the incoming U.S. President Donald Trump, Guterres's task will be challenging. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.